Who? What's up, people? This is Brandon here. Today, we're going to look at the user button on the Ableton Push and how Retouch Control's Pusher app allows us to use this button to switch between Reason and Ableton Live on the fly. To do this, we're going to need to open up Reason in Rewire mode, which means we have to open up our host first, which is Ableton Live. But before we do all that, we're going to turn on our Push Controller. It'll let us know we need to open up Live. So we're going to open up Live. Once that's open and Push has recognized that they're connected, we can open up Pusher. And minimize its window. And then open up Reason. Now we have Reason connected to Ableton Live via rewire mode. So we're going to scroll down on the rack and create an instrument inside of Reason before we switch back. We use Antidote. Now we're going to open up Live and create an instrument in Live. Before we play anything, I'm going to open up the I.O. interface. And then on one of the audio tracks, I'm going to do the audio from Reason and turn that to In. Now back to our push. Push is currently in the user mode to play in Ableton Live, so when we play, it's going to play our Ableton Live synth. Now when we press User, this can switch over to Reason mode, and we're going to play our Reason synth. Let's say we have two instruments open up in Reason. Since the user mode allows us to be completely independent between Reason and Ableton Live, this means that we can go to our track menu and still select which track we want to play. If you're still on the Reason screen on your computer, you can still hit the user button and still play your synth in Ableton Live. So there you have it. Check the description for links to Retouch Control's website where you can purchase Pusher and start using Push with Reason. If you have Push and Pusher but haven't got it working with Reason yet, don't worry, I've got you covered. Click the box on the screen to watch a video on installing Pusher and setting it up inside of Reason. Don't forget to leave a comment about any questions you might have so that I can answer those in future videos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you later.